and welcome back to the HJP Trains channel. You join me in Paddington Station for a very special video today as we celebrate hitting 100 subscribers on the HJP Trains channel. In case you missed it, a few days ago we did hit 100 subscribers. There's a special video on the channel celebrating this achievement and giving a little thank you back to everyone who has subscribed. We are making our way towards the Hammersmith and City and Circle Lines at Paddington. I just need to make our way over to King's Cross to review today's special rolling stock. The Intercity 225 sets that operate on the East Coast Main Line out of London, King's Cross. I would like to thank Dylan's Travel Reports for the inspiration to do this video. I will leave a link to his channel in the description as well as the link to the video of his review of the Clint City 225 train. And as we make our way down towards the platforms, we can see that the Circle Line and Hammersmith and City Line platforms is a single iron platform with trains arriving on either side. As we arrive on the platform, we can see a Hammersmith and City Line train waiting to leave towards the city. We will be catching the next train, which is a Circle Line train, that will take us to London King's Cross at Pancras. Here we see our train arriving into Paddington Underground Station. Don't forget to mind the doors. And after a short while, we arrive at London King's Cross St Pancras Underground Station. Here we say goodbye to the underground as we switch to National Rail for today's journey. Here we can see a sight that never fails to impress. The external shot of both King's Cross Station and St Pancras Station, the gateway to international rail travel as of course this is the starting point of the HS1 services across to Calais. We enter King's Cross Station in the relatively new regenerated area of the station, which was upgraded in 2017 following the completion of HS1 out of London St Pancras. The new area offers an airline style experience with clear information boards on the windows, plenty of food outlets for shopping and for food, as well as clear signage for passengers needing to know where they're going. Now we've arrived at King's Cross, let's give an overview of today's journey. As mentioned before, we were taking a journey on the East Coast Main Line up London King's Cross and take the approximate 80 mile journey north to Peterborough. For this journey, we will be running fast non stop between the two stations. However, there is a semi major stop in between, and that stop is Stevenage Railway Station. Now it's time to get our first glimpse of the traction for today's journey. A British Rail built Class 91 Loco, sporting the Intercity Swallow livery, hauling a rake of Mark IV carriages and a Class 82 DBT. This service, of course, is operated by London North Eastern Railway, a government ran railway following the depletion of the Virgin franchise up and down the East Coast Main Line. Now 
we make our way towards the front of the train, as today we'll find our seat in coach seat of this service, situated just three coaches behind the class 91 that will be hauling us. The gangways to the trains are for a large space, so anyone with luggage or bikes can put their stuff here without having to fight their way through the train, as you do in many other operators. First impressions would suggest that this train clearly is kitted out for long distance express services offering its passengers a very comfortable and enjoyable experience as they make their way north towards Scotland. As well as some excellent window views, you can also find a pop-out tray table at your seat, which is fairly sturdy, great for needing to do any work. Not only this, but in addition, you get some pretty good leg room at your seat, which go with the great carpet looks as well as the comfortable upholstery. These seats do provide some excellent padding, so you sure will not get backache when travelling. Great work, Alania. And we can be seen here departing London King's Cross approximately three minutes late, as we had to fight for a path out of the station with a late running Grand Central service. Pass them some great Northern Class 387 trains in platforms 9 and 10. And not too long after departing, we'll be entering the Gasworks Tunnels. Seen here passing under the HS1 line towards Calais in Kent. Of course, the East Coast Main Line does also brush very close to Premiership Royalty, as it speeds past the Emirates Stadium, home to Arsenal Football Club, who play in the English Premiership Football League. We could be seen here speeding through Finsbury Park. As you head northbound on the right hand side of the railway, you'll find Hornsey Maintenance Depot, home to both Thameslink and Great Northern, where they store and maintain a large number of their stock. Like many other railway operators, LNER do offer an onboard catering service. However, unlike the other operators, they offer an at seat service where you scan the QR code and they bring it to you on demand. Great if you're going to use some of these sockets to plug in your laptop and didn't want to leave it abandoned. As well as this, you can also find carpeted walls. Very impressive. The Class 91s themselves do also offer an onboard information system, displaying information throughout the entirety of the journey. Very helpful. As I do not normally travel on the East Coast Main Line, this was my first time and I was very impressed with the excellent views that the countryside has to offer as we slice through it at 125 miles an hour, heading northbound towards our destination of Peterborough. Despite it being overcast, I was still amazed by the amazing views you could see from the window. Our journey is nearly at an end now, as we make our final approach into Peterborough Station. Overall, my trip experience was very pleasant, with a great seat, excellent customer service on the onboard guard, as well as an overall positive experience throughout my journey. If you have not travelled with London North Eastern Railway, I highly recommend them. I give this trip an 8 out of 10 rating. In order to push this up to a 10, I think LNER should be offering a physical catering trolley, as I believe this gives a better experience when ordering food on board. Welcome to Peterborough. 
we wait for our class 91 to leave Peterborough, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody again who has subscribed and supported me throughout my YouTube journey. When I started over three years ago, I never thought that I'd have the opportunity to make a video like this. This is honestly a dream come true. I cannot thank you enough. I'll keep trying to grow the channel and post videos every single Monday. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now as our train begins to leave, I think this is time to sign off. So, until the next HJP Trains video, bye bye for now.